Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Cranston Yordstorm, and I am one of the build team members here at NatureCon 2022. I'm in explorer mode because today is the last day of NatureCon 2022. And so, um, because we're ending today, um, I'm going to do a tour of the entire build as quickly as possible um, so that you can hopefully have some fun memories, but you can also, uh, I'm going to put links to each of the places represented here at NatureCon as we visit them. They'll be in the comments or in the description of this video. And um, if you feel so inclined, you can visit these places on your own after NatureCon 2022 has long gone. Uh, hopefully there'll be a NatureCon 2023. <laughs> um, so, uh, without wasting a lot of time, I'm going to start. We are here at what was the land, what is still the landing point for NatureCon 2022. Uh, these are the two stages for the Misfits and for the Beach Shack Theater. Um, both of these events, I believe, have finished their... Uh, performances for the run of NatureCon, but I will attempt to um, send you information in the comments on both Beach Shack Theater and the Misfit, uh, the Misfits dance troupe. So, that's those two. Um, right across from that is the park office. The park office is created by um, M, who is the uh, force behind both the Nature Collective, which I think if we click this, yes, we get a folder. So I will make sure and send links, as many links as I can, into. Um, uh, the comments and also if you uh, I am me in world I will also send you uh, links uh, the other thing that M does is she does something with uh, a group uh, a group called what's the buzz which is all about bees well I'll try and put a link to what the what the buzz is um, M has a Discord for both the Nature Collective and What the Buzz. And I will also try and put those in. So let's go in the Nature Collective. This is the park office for NatureCon, which M did. She does a great job. She does great attention to detail. So here we are inside and also inside the park office as well as being amazingly uh, and vintagely uh, look at so I'm not going to be able to do this. build I usually have it set up so that I can only select my objects but sometimes but these are all one build so I can't But I'm sure there's uh, park offices for uh, the Nature Collective as well. But inside the park office, there has been a an art gallery for these will res in time. Catherine Little Little Paws. Let's see if we can get some landmarks for that. So Catherine Little Paws. That folder. So if Catherine Little, thank you, Alexa. Uh, so if Catherine Little Paws has a okay. I don't know why my smart speaker is all good, <laughs> but uh, Catherine Little Paws has had nature gallery. Uh, oh, there it is. 
this part. So let's oh, it's a group inviter. There's also a subscriber group. Um, I don't have any group space, so I can't do that. But we'll try and get some information about where Catherine Little Paws has her artwork. I believe that is everything that is inside the park office. So let's step outside, and we will head to uh, the next step. Actually, let's do this. We'll, we'll catch the Glaston Billy Cheddar Works train, which is one of my builds, so we'll try and focus on everything else. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this first, because there, there were three tiers of vendors. So let's do the lower vendor first. Which is down past my yes, Vendors, level one. Here we go. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. We'll also go down to the coast and see if we can get some links for the Vikings. Okay, this is... Uh, a Facina de Sony. I do not speak Italian. Oh, but they do um, European troops build Makinima films, performing art shows, live music performances. Uh, if you want to hire us, that's information we can get from. Ah send you to a YouTube page. Let's take a look at that. Um, we'll try and send some information out uh, for the YouTube um, page uh, on the links as well. Since this is going to be a YouTube vid, we'll link to a YouTube page. Um... This is Billy Bin. I believe this is an interactive uh, garbage and recycling for Belisaria. So you can find the information for that. Another web page for Marketplace. So a lot of this stuff is web-based, so we'll try and get links to that into the comments as we leave. You might also be able to... Ah, what is this? What is Billy Ben? A note card. Okay. Billy Ben. Yada, 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 yada. Information. All right. So I'll, Billy Ben is available online, so we will try and get... Um, information to that into the comments for Billy Ben. The next one is we'll wait and go over the bridge after the bridge here. Uh, this is some sort of music. Ah, this is uh, Belisaria Entertainers and Events, I believe. That has a group joiner. Uh, looks like I'm actually a member of DJ Bell's area entertainers and events. As a live singer myself, although I have not done any events in Bell's area as part of the events yet, I believe this is going to be a, a calendar of the events here at Disney's. Okay. So. Actually, DJ Hammy is going to be doing a concert in three hours. It is now nine, well, about two and a half hours. It is now 9.36, and DJ Hammy is going to, will, actually, by the time you've seen this, will have done the last event 
August 31st. So that is also the next one. This is Belisaria. Oh, this is the Bike Drive and Scoot. Another group to join. Um, again, if I can. Uh, all this stuff actually is available if you go to the uh, Belisaria Bureau of Bureaucracy has stamps for each of these uh for the Bellis area bike drive and scoot, there is information for that at their headquarters, I believe, uh, if memory serves, and also for Bellis area entertainers and events. Um, at any rate, if I can, I will send the links. I will also try and make a subsequent video about um, Bellis area stuff. Because I'm going to get back to exploring again. What are you doing? The next one is, ah, Drivers of SL. Now, Drivers of SL is a weekly event. They actually had NatureCon as, oh, you get a free gift. So let's get that one. Let's get a gift. You got Drivers of SL Deluxe. Awesome. I'm going to get all the swag I can. Uh, ooh, I'm going to remember this bike. Kuwazi or Kwazi. Okay. Uh, grid Drive. Uh, there is a link. Grid Drive actually has a Discord. Let me see. Uh, oh, that actually um, another uh, web page so I'll go through and I'll find information on drivers of SL put that in the comments next is I'm gonna actually lower my graphic setting to medium or actually just the high I have it on ultra right now and yeah, shadows but it should make everything raise a lot faster okay and here we are. Visit a tropical wilderness. Um, take a personal safari. It's not saying what it is. Let's see if we can get some information. Uh, an object called personal safari. Giving you a folder. Okay. So personal safari, tropical paradise. So it's about a personal safari. Um, I will also a landmark to tropical paradise. I'll try to put that as a swirl in the comments. Uh, the next one is SL Radio. SL Radio has been providing a customized radio station for Second Life and also they've had uh, two uh, live sets of their own. There's a folder for Metropolitan. So we'll see what's in there, and if there's anything of importance, we will put that in the comments as well. Next up, now this place actually, I'm actually kind of interested in, and I've been waiting for this tour myself to explore it. This is. Paradise Landing, but it is also information from the booth here. Ah, there it is. Le Chateau Motel and Resort. This is a 1980s theme. I am a, a cat of the 80s. And uh, French Guyana 1980s Le Chateau Hotel and Resort. Let's see if we can get a folder for 
Ah, no folder, but there is a landmark. So, um, it gave me a landmark, which I will put in... Looks like they have a flicker, too. So I will put the slurl for that in here, but it's really, it looks really cool. Um, in 1980s-ish sort of French Guyana. Okay, Le Chateau, Second Life, 1980s theme community located in a virtual French Guyana. Replicate the wilderness of Guyana. Um, I'm going to have a lot of the detail here. Um, because I'm sure this information is actually at Le Chateau. So you can, if you so desire, go to Le Chateau and check it out for yourself. And that's the whole point, right? Well, that's interested. That's interesting. interested. I'm interested. Okay. So... And you know what, you can, I'm going to zoom in, and if you want, you can pause and read the information. So here's information for this one. And then just uh, hit play again, and yeah. now that I've uh, lowered the graphics and the uh, textures log in a lot faster. So for Le Chateau, I'll actually be doing, uh, as I start exploring again, with hopefully with my friend uh, Fiori Freeman uh, through Operation Mainland. And we will, uh, I will make a point, um, and hopefully we will make a point of, uh, oh, it looks like this is like a surfboard, um, like bull riding or something. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so that is tier one of the vendors here at NatureCon. And so we will come on up. Oh, actually, no, we could have taken the bridge across, so let's do that. And the bridge, of course, goes over the tracks of the Glastonbury Cheddar Works Railway. And takes or took visitors um, on a tour of the northern part of Nature. So here we are at Tier 2. This looks like uh, let me get rid of it. Okay. Um, Sluggle. Oh, this is Becca Ordinary, I believe. And Becca has a YouTube. Uh, yeah, okay, so it is Becca Ordinary. She has YouTube, YouTube, YouTube links. <laughs> Hopefully not YouTube. Um, uh, so there's a Flickr, there's a YouTube, we'll do the YouTube link and then you can go from there. It looks like this might be a marketplace. So yeah, I will go through and uh, put these uh, links here. Oh, and it looks like maybe um, I'm always going for the swag. Aardvark Limited Edition Nature Con Becca Pack. Okay, cool. So, and if there's landmarks in this, then I will uh, send them out as well. As well as the Nature Con 2022 special gift. Uh, a folder for a magic wand that you can get. That's cool. I'm not going to put any of these on. Whoops, sorry. Um, but this is Becca Ordinary's thing. So you got... Uh, actually, I'm going to try and get this edited. So if you feel so inclined, come on down before NatureCon ends. See if you can get this stuff. This is Operation Mainland, which is my friend Fury Fremen. There is a hunt, a ladybug hunt. And you can search for very teeny tiny... Um, Ladybugs. 
And if I go through uh, afterward, maybe I'll send another video with the... Um, actually, no. It was just a way to get you to go through each of the places we're going to go anyway. So uh, Operation Mainland provided a hunt. And I think there are actually... Oh, actually, no. We'll actually do it because I believe there are... Um, My most fierce friend. It's a wonder they haven't been roasted alive, which I believe is going to be the volcano actually helped her create some of the uh, Operation Mainland. So uh, let's see if there are links. There is a landmark for Operation Mainland. Uh, oh, that's Operation Mainland Transit, which is um, something that we will do another a video on, but it is a uh, Sort of like a subway system for exploring uh, mainland and Belisaria. Uh, so I'll send that link. Let's see if there is information. Uh, another web page. So uh, this is a web page about abandoned land. Operation Mainland is created to sort of take abandoned land and refurbish it into explorable spaces much like NatureCon has been and also nearly everything that you've seen um, at NatureCon I believe there are large portions of the Nature Collective and um, of course the South Coast which we'll feature in a little bit um, that have taken abandoned land and refurbished it into explorable spaces with art etc etc operationmainland.com there's a link down there um, I have information for Operation Mainland, so I will throw that into the comments as well. Next on our list is... Ah, this is my good friend DJ Fars a booth. He has... He is the... Uh, I think he has the record for the longest running continuous DJ party in... Ah, there it is. The longest running weekly party in Belisaria. Fridays, DJ Far. If there are any kind of links I can get for DJ Far. DJ Far actually does a twice a week uh, thing called Bingo and Beans at the Glaston Belly Redwood Forest Park and uh, the Pyramid, which, well, we'll, fe we'll feature that um, later on in the video as we. Uh, to the glass and belly section of Nature Rock. Uh, ERM. Something road maintenance. This might be uh, the place that connects to let me cam up. Uh, Ellesmere Road Maintenance. Let's get a free ERM cap. We love that. Free swag. Uh, let's see, there it is. I th okay, so I th think this might be, if we cam out, if my draw distance works out right. This looks remarkably similar to the, uh, the, uh, mainland entrance for NatureCon, which we'll get to when we get up there. Um, so, uh, I don't know if Ellesmere is connected or not. Uh, I'm not seeing, uh, information. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So you get your free cap here. Ah, get all the ERM infos here. This is a note card for ERM. So if there is, uh, Looks like it might be German as well. Ah, so there are links here. If I can, I will uh, put those in chat. We'll also try and see if we can't get some kind of follow-up um, note card or information set for when NatureCon ends so you can still go explore. Explore. Why am I saying things as they are actually spelled? Uh, here it is. Okay, so this is actually the uh, information for the Nature Collective. There was some down by 
the park office, but, so Emily Evergarden M is the force behind the Nature Collective, so we will send you the Nature here. And then finally, this is the hammies. And here is, uh, let's see if she's actually awake. Hey, Very. I don't she's probably not hearing me on voice. This is the, half the DJ team that is going to be doing the, uh, uh, the last concert here at NatureCon. But what their booth is, is for the Belisaria Animal Sanctuary. The Belisaria Animal Sanctuary also has a stamp with the BBB, I believe, or with uh, Forever Tourist. Um, let's look for some info. And that will send you a landmark. And the note card gives you a flicker link. Um, so we'll try and do that. But these are the cute little hammies. That they do a lot of stuff uh, at the end of the summer. They do a splash water park um, as part of the Belisaria Fairgrounds. Okay, now this guy's really, really cool. This is Greg, I believe it is. Timmerman, Greg Timmerman. Greg has created, now I tried to do something like this, but he has taken it and gone like full steroids with it. Greg has created uh, a bar and lounge uh, food bar truck. Uh, there is a train. There is a boat. There may even be actually a uh, a truck. Oh, okay, so let's go and we'll click here for the Sky Bar Swimming Pool landmark. There is Jet Ski Billiards Relax Zone. Okay. Um, uh, oh, Port Victoria Isle. Let's see if the. Okay. So, you, but you can get information from Greg. T but we'll have information on Greg Timmerman's really, really fun, interactive stuff. I actually did a short part of one of his boat tours that went from uh, went from NatureCon, I believe, to one of his uh, places. You see, this is the great thing about what the. Uh, the moles have done and the lindens have done, for those of you that are not aware, um, they have created, uh, I think there is a way to get uh, to get to level three. I wrote these signs down, so why don't I know about this? Um, uh, to explore by way of uh, boat and train, and uh, plane through interconnected um, regions. Uh, uh, we'll come back and do this one back from level three vendors. We're almost done with the vendors. I think there's like four on this level. Corner here. I would run, but there's some nice scenery, so let's just take in the scenery. So this vendor is. What is this? This oh, this may be the Grove. Actually, it looks like it might be Luxa. Not 
sure what this is. Let's try number two. Uh, oh, wait a minute. So I don't know what this is, but here is information on the Grove. These are landmarks for the Grove, uh, which has um, been featured on um, Designing Worlds. So, oh, that is giving you a folder. Okay, great. So there's a folder for Luxa Landmarks. Oh, so Luxa must be, yeah, so this is links for, it's all connected one thing. Yeah, okay, so this is a link for all this stuff. We'll make links, slurls for Luxa and the Grove and whatever KR is in the comments. Next is Focus Magazine, I believe has an in-world group. There's a Flickr. There is a Twitter. Ah, so there is a... So it's Focus Magazine. Uh, so we'll try and go through and get links to where you can get that stuff as well and let's see what this is this is ah fanatic okay so let me cam back down fanatic has donated a number of things to NatureCon, including ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum, cam down these two stump teleporters which uh, work by means of an experience with a really nice animation and uh, you click on it and accept the experience and it will climb down and whoosh you're off to your um, your destination and it, it's multi-region too so uh, so this is for fanatic let me see if they have Oh, there's a gift. Gotta love the swag. That artificial tropical plants gift. Hurrah! Is it us? A landmark for fanatic. We'll put the swirl for that in the notes. Um, anyway, fanatic does. You know, uh, fanatic's probably. Um, Sorry, I just coughed. Um, Fanatic is a fantastic uh, creator of nature-themed uh, builds, and you probably are seeing a number of their builds featured in the build for Second Life. That. Um, road trip in style. What? Them. Oh, this is Soul, Soul Star, who along with Yukiko Yeshito is one of the Soul Star like, <laughs> um, one of the uh, minds behind the whole creation of NatureCon. Uh, there is a um, we were featured on Lab Gab, and also uh, Yukiko and Soul were featured on another um, uh, Lab Gab um, thing. But what Soul does is she creates luxury rental experiences. Older, and she's got stuff scattered throughout each of the continents. It's amazing how prolific her work is. Um, I'm gonna make a point to actually go through and explore, because um, two of the things that she's done are created to two of the things that I've done with Operation Mainland. 
So that's uh, Ascend B and B road trip in style, and that is. If there's one more. There's not. So they gave you a nice little area to relax. Those are the vendors for NatureCon. So let's go. Let's go down. Oh no, the train. So we'll feature one of my builds, which will take us back down to. We'll take the train down to. Actually, let's zoom. There were, there were actually two running. There's the train, and it's the Cheddar Works. Cool. Um, each of these trains is created by a company called Valkyrie uh, Transport. I also like to uh, give Dizzy Sternberg and the gang at Valkyrie Transport as much information and plugs as I can. And they just created some really cool stuff, which I'm hoping to implement into a number of my builds. They just created like three new transits. Um, so this is the Glaston Valley Cheddar Works train, which there is a real world version of at Glaston. And um, I won't go into a lot of detail on that until we get over to the Blasting Belly Cheddarworks, but it, has, it takes you to each of the two vendor levels, as well as the park office. Pauses for 30 seconds, and then uh, continues on. So we will take a look. going to say something about what I think is one of the cooler aspects and it's not done as much it's actually done more I think probably because of Valkyrie Transport and uh, the Zany Zen Railway is the oh here we go this is also another thing that's perfect timing uh Zen, uh, I don't know Zen's full name, let me see if we, ah, uh, Zen Sword Galway has created uh, the Zany Zen Railway and also the Great Little Trains of Second Life. Uh, and we're going to feature um, the GT, GLTSL. Um, and as much detail as we can, hopefully with subsequent exploration, but also as much information as we can bring into comments without overburdening a lot of information. So here we are. We are turning the corner. And going up to. Ah, here we are. This is Bryce. Bryce Sun. Bryce Sun has worked with um, God Fiori would have this information. There's a Ah, JavaScript. The JavaScript pods and they are done by Yavana uh, I believe if it if it's um, uh, done in Welsh it is Thunfair. I think the double L's are off, sort of a sound or something. But geopods are a way to um, explore. Uh, let me see. There is a link to clicking but I'm not getting Uh, Bryce also does Mainland Preservation Society. There is 
uh, an inland group, and there's also a Discord for that. Um, so let me see. Yep. Uh, let's continue on, and then we'll come back here if we feel the need. Um, because the next thing we're going to pass is... Oh! Uh, Bay City did a really cool build about the history of Bay City. So let me see if I can find... This is Bay City's... The Great Seal of the City of Bay City. ba 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 bum Let's see if I can find information on that. Real quick. No. We'll come back to this because we're passing Mount Campion next. And I want to definitely stop. And Because Mount Campion is one of those really cool... Um, it's like the tallest mountain in Second Life. And the mountain was built by the Moles and the Lindens, but Marsh Scarman and uh, Mount Campion acquired it. And... Maker Center. Uh, that. Anyway, they provided a. Uh, Ah, there we go. Mount Campion National Forest information. So if there's anything information-wise about Mount Campion, I will send those in notes as well. You can rent campground spaces, and they're pretty full up. So it is a definitely a get. But they have created a nature uh, park. Uh, nature center uh, this is more croft that we're coming up here more croft is an equestrian group clicking it looks like it's a sort of farmers market ish kind of thing um more croft equestrian i will see if i can find information out about that and put that in link as well we are coming it's just about to cross into what i There are four builds I have done. Um, each is associated with an narrow gauge train. Brought to you by Valkyrie Transport. And designed by yours truly. There was a little bit of lag here. Um, I'll put links to the York Storm Amalgamated Rail Works which is links to the trains themselves. Um, you can also get swag, but you can also get swag at Glastonbelly, so I won't collect swag I already have. Um, uh, this goes back down to the park entrance, so just to... Some of my builds, you can climb ropes to get to um, different areas. And they're actually very old, but still, in my opinion, the best animation. Um, we actually had Strawberry Sing climb up one. Uh, strawberry Linen, sorry, Strawberry. Um, 
uh, during the lab gab. Uh, and I was kind of proud that that old animation had been um, incorporated into something new. Uh, this is a glass and belly Redwood Forest Park information. Um, I'm also going to put information for the Redwood Grove. And, uh, well, we'll pass by the volcano. Um, this would be back to well, we'll climb back up this way because I just want to show you. Show you that. Really cool climbing animation. <laughs> I just think this is one of the really cool animations, and it's been around forever. Uh, so this will take you up to the tree bridge. And yeah, just click the glowing knots. Um, I don't know if we have any. Uh, Climbable ropes like these at um, Glastonbury, but we do have them at the big tree house at the Redwood Grove. The Redwood Grove is an adult sim, so not safe for work, but it's still uh, uh, in uh, Redwood Grove, obviously called the Redwood Grove. So let's see, this bridge goes from. Bridge. Yeah, so it would be Moorcroft over here. Um, and, oh, actually, this is one of the things I, uh, I don't know whether anybody ever actually found it or not, but there are, this is the vanilla version that I created for NatureCon, but I actually created a space where if you wanted to, you could have a place to hang out. In whoops, come on, and just sort of hang out in the trees. Uh, but I, I, I wonder if anybody actually found it. I don't know if they did or not. But you can sit, and uh, there are <laughs> just different ways to. And you can, you know, uh, if you were a couple, you could also have uh, done that. Um, anyway. But you could find. Um, I like to call them more high octane adult versions of those at the Redwood Grove. Um, and actually, I actually have a snag of a Miller version. And I'm going to throw some of these in at strategic points in Glass and Miller. Cut a branch. Take a copy. It's mine, so I can do whatever I want. Ba 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 ba. Um. One of the things I'm kind of proud of is we were able to incorporate... This is also an old build. This is, um... Garden of Dreams. Uh, another old uh, company, I believe... The... Designing World still broadcasts from Garden of Dreams, from their web, from their region, sorry. Uh, but I've had this old trunk in my inventory for probably close to a decade, and I love incorporating it into, we actually created a couple of uh, tree tunnels for the... Um, Oh, let me go through and we'll talk through a couple of ways to explore Glastonbury. Oh, and I, yes, I should totally do this. Because Corsica South Coasters is represented here at NatureCon through the Glastonbury Redwood Forest Park. Uh, we'll have links for Corsica South, Coaster, South Coasters. We'll also hopefully do some exploring through Corsica South Coasters. But... If you are an, a pilot uh, directly connected with Glastonbury over here is the Corsica South Coast Airfield. I have uh, YouTube links um, uh, taken off from Corsica South Coast Airfield, which is on the 
western end of Glaston Valley River Forest Park. There is also the Corsica South Coast Thruway, which connects down uh, mainland from the Circuit La Corse, winds through the trees in but it goes up through the Gla Glastonbury Redwood Forest Park and actually connects to the Corsica South Coast Airfield by way of this little um, gate picture here. Uh, Glastonbury has a flicker. Um, oh, and uh, the big performance venue at Glastonbury, which is the reason Glastonbury exists is the uh, pyramid, which is uh, an in-world representation of the Glastonbury Music Festival Pyramid. And we actually had a music festival uh, this summer. Um, it also features uh, Stonehenge, which is connected to... Um, hippies... Uh, when Glastonbury, which Glastonbury celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2020, unfortunately during the height of the COVID epidemic, and uh, uh, good friends of mine, Doc Rast and the Joyful, wanted to create a um, they wanted to create an, an in-world version of it to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Glastonbury. So uh, it has moved around a lot, but has found its home uh, as Glastonbelly in the Glastonbelly Redwood Forest Park. So the information for that will be in the comments. Let's go to the Connection Cafe, which is one of Soul Starlight. I believe there is an in-world version of this as well, but in order to create a, um, a place for people to hang out, so we decided to um, here. Oh no. Or it could be something that she created specifically for uh, uh, NatureCon. I'm not sure. But uh, oh, so if you would have clicked of these, you would have gotten a group joiner. There Uh, um, but it's sort of like uh, the Applebee's slash Starbucks uh, equivalent here at Nature Time. That. And this is the Moana Lota Uh This is the Sky Bridge. Ooh, scary. Um, you can actually have triggered, and you can do this at the actual Moana Lota volcano in Heracera. But uh, if the volcano would have erupted up there, this is one of the nicer spots to get a view of nature pond from above. Um, this was a really fun build, the uh, volcano, because it is by a company called Seven Plus. I'm also going to feature them as well because they do. Uh, they, a number of the two of their builds, which I put down, are featured here at um, NatureCon. 
There is the volcano. Oh, hey, we're gonna see it. This is the erupting volcano from 7 Plus, which um, is actually It's a really great volcano. And, um, the only thing I'll say, 7 Plus, I have sent you a bad review that I'm going to change to, or just a, a not so great review, to a fantastic review. If you would remove the local chat uh, loading of this really awesome eruption animation, which takes people out of it. I don't know whether it's something that you overlooked, but it's the one thing that would change this from a really, really, really awesome volcano to the best volcano in second life, of which I have a version of the Milano Rota Volcano Park, which we'll go down there and we'll talk about. Okay. Um, be so that people would not, because it's right on the border, um, so that people would not go inside of it and then fall through the build. I have created a cap. Um, we'll do a little plug for uh, Chelsea Malibu. This is actually a mod of one of Chelsea Malibu's. Um, I believe she does something called. Steelhead Outfitters, yep. Uh, they do outdoor mesh clothing and they also do. Um, Again, high octane, not safe for work. Um, nature built, and one of them is a uh, Yosemite. Um, uh, like spring. Um, okay, so to go, uh, this is a really cool build that I sort of. Uh, well, it was a cool two build. I'll leave the whether it's a cool build to the eye of the beholder. But this is actually um, uh, Alex Bader's uh, river modded into a lava river. It, it, it's his um, new epic river uh, rapids and smooth build, as well as his epic waterfall. down to the water. One of the things I wanted to do, because Bryce was sending out um, inspiration, and one of the things was the Kilauea volcano. And how uh, all the eruptions, the lava would go down to the coastline and turn into lava stone and steam. And so one of the things I wanted to do was to recreate that. So this was a real cool, fun thing to have in to create, and uh, we uh, got to negotiate the uh, placement of it, which actually created the space where the uh, Connection Cafe uh, was done, because we put this down, we put this down, and she's like, well, we're, we're going we're gonna to go over here somewhere, and she was going to create this she wanted to create this sky bridge, and I'm like, well, we'll create a scaffolding that, um, actually, let's go down that way, because that'll take us right to the, um, the caves of Seven Plus. So, um, yeah, so, and I c actually, I created the build here so that you would never fall. The only way you could fall is you would actually um, these um, are Cube Republic uh, rope traverses of which I'll show you some when we do the uh, the zip lines. The Um, but I, I created um, invisible trees. Well, if 
they did, they would have to work really hard. Um, we'll probably talk about this. Yeah, I'm going to go to the top of this. Cells. Um, maybe they'll do the there's a die to connect to the um top. We do it. Ba -ba -ba, running up the stairs, running, running, running. We're not falling. His friends are made the invisible friends. Da -da -da -da. Um, and I have these uh, uh scaffolds. Um, Yeah, so there's a little dive. Uh, we have that one of these at the Redwood Grove as well. And you can actually take these. Um, what's actually on the shack shack. The shack in the world. So the shack is where this dive is from. Uh, and the region is called the shack, so you can get information on I've actually create swim and dive. Stuff. They do some really cool uh, animations for this. Um, forward dive, um, you can backward dive, and it actually turns you on. Um, handstand dive. We'll do a forward pike dive down to uh, the cool thing about the dive is that uh, it will actually keep you back up to the dive platform so you don't have to worry about um, losing yourself if you get down in there. Um, go right from the ring go. Um forward and just stay down there. Whee! Summer song. Okay, TP back to the dive pad where you can stay. Okay, so that was that. Um, so that's why we built the, put the stair here for the next side of the stand. Understood. This is another build from 7 Plus. Oh, Bayou Diesel. Welcome to Nature Prime. Thanks for exploring. Um, there is a path. But it's another really, really cool build by uh, Seven Plus. out here as the last part of it. I mean, it was just a really cool space for like, there were probably 15, 20 of us. And we all were, uh, a place where all of us could hang out. Sit this, I believe, is a dead end cave down lower.
Well, seven plus created the pun. Uh, there is a version of this at Moana Loda, uh, where the volcano is, uh, called the Moana Loda Spillway, which features these caves. So you can um, explore caves in in world. Um, uh, uh, after nature kind of finished. That's what I'm trying to say. So Yukiko created um, this little frog pond, which features a couple of games. I think the creator for the games. Now, NatureCon has a blog, which I'll also feature in comments as well. Um, maybe. Uh, the clock. But Yukiko Yashiro, the other, uh, um, along with Soul, the one who was the mastermind behind Nature Pond, I decided to use this pond area, the upper part of the seven plus. Waterfall. I think it's called the Abyss. Um, to create this clock. Uh, so that is there. Go away. Um, so now we'll pass by Souls Nature Center. Right on the main boardwalk for Nature Con. Must be those people riding me. Uh, this is, uh, information that Soul created about, um, I think this is created specifically for NatureCon. So this is the NatureCon, um, let's can, so if you want to, you can pause the video and take a look at the information that Soul has Forest trees and natural water filtering. Yeah, she did a really good job creating a real informative nature center. Ecosystem of tree. Um, woodland animals. How they're connected. So, yeah, really cool. That is the nature center. All right. Uh, this is the main stage of which there is a version of this stage at the Redwood Grove. This is the, what we call the mainland stage, uh, right next to the park office. And it is a converted tree stump from Fun Daddy, and so there have been a number of events. I actually did a concert here 
Um, I'm thinking maybe I will divide this up into ruthenium and then maybe uh, uh, osmium, which is the other region, and then the coastline so that it won't be too long. But this is the Moana Loda Volcano installation, which is another one of the builds I have in world along with Yuri Fremen and Be Joyful and Operation Mainland. Moana Loda Volcano Park and the Dallas Railway. in the spirit of soul the nature center to create you know I grabbed these really quickly but I thought they had some good information about because volcanoes um, unless you're a Hawaiian Islander and know how to live with them are considered for those of us who are in the continental U.S. Um, to be, you know, dangerous thing. But I decided to throw in a couple of things on the benefits of volcanoes. And then I did one more uh, side that just has the different parts of a volcano. There's tons of great YouTube vids on volcanoes. If there's a volcano in 2023, I might actually be interested in doing some kind of do some research into the uh, thing to click here to it's just not around. Oh. Anyway, uh, and then here I think So I think, yes, I'm going to end this video here, and then I'm going to just start another one right after this, and it will feature uh, the southern end, which features the Belisaria builds and the stuff that the Lindens and the Moles, the Moles and Lindens actually created uh, 